Wait a minute. I'm not starting this video off right. Hmm. You know what? Let me start off the right way. Hold on. Saturday and I'm about to head out to my gym because we have a health fair and uh, I'm going to go in support of the gym so and to see if I can get they're supposed to have some kind of spinal screening that is free so I want to go get that and see what other things I can do like massage maybe and after that I'm going to have a leg session because I haven't had a proper leg session this week and it's going to be the most intense probably today because I'm going to actually challenge myself saw a post instagram post when i posted from uh the online coach rami kiyoto shout out to you uh he did a five set of 12 60 rep set so that's what i'm going to do today i'm gonna to do something a little bit different uh try to do a different approach to legs um i think the key to my leg growth so far has been reps man just reps 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 uh, you know people have preached on youtube before uh, doing reps is the key and I think that has been the key to my leg finally my leg growth success my legs are the last thing to grow because I just didn't do legs guys when I first started training didn't do squats biggest mistake I probably had so far in my lifting stint is not doing legs properly me thinking that just running was going to condition my legs it helps yeah but you got to build the muscle so Anyway, guys, that's a little short rant. I'm about to head out to the gym. Health fair, legs. I'm sorry? No, we don't sell candles. We sell the wax and the reckless. Mm hmm. I have. I take credit. Okay. Don't smell to it. 
this is a diffuser and mm -hmm. it is diffusing lemon. Mm -hmm. Avacor. What's your, what's your zip code? 75212. Two, two. How you yeah, doing? Yeah, hey, how are you? Uh, yeah, you can take me. Have you heard about it? Yes. Is it signed there and I'll get your card back? One of, you? one of our um, one of our personal trainers is involved with Avacor. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And let's get you get him his card back. Did you get him his um, uh, Yes. Okay, do you want me to text you your receipt? Yes. Okay. What's your number? 972. What you got? I don't know what this is. But... Oh, she's got her keys. That's. <laughs> you don't know what it is, but you got it. That's what you no, said. I... Yeah. 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 So I was I was seeing your style that she was too. I, I was really I was really just soaking in what you were doing with Tina, and that's kind of the way I, I wanted to approach my method. That's kind of my method in the gym when I work out. Cause I do work here too. Okay. I've been over here for like five years. Okay. Yeah. And um, I'm a pretty nonchalant guy, man. I just I mean I could want the same thing. That's cool. I want the same thing. Two. I don't want to die. I, 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 I don't fear death, but I don't want to die right now. And I don't want to die. I know death can come, but I don't want health problems to be the cause of death. Because if I feel like it's a health problem, I feel like I I did that myself. I'm the one that call, I call my family. You know, I have my kids. Of course, I have my immediate family, but I, I call my fitness, the people around me. That's, yep. That is my family. That's why I call it Fit Family. That's when you see my use, I always use the term fit fam, fit family. Um, there's people who have saved my life. My workout partner, I don't think sales and leadership development. So oh, I've lived okay, in the okay. corporate world for quite some time. Okay, I got In you. terms of just developing people and training people in their job capacity, right, to be better salespeople, to be better in their customer experience delivery, to be better managers, to be better leaders. I've taught CEOs of companies, right? And when we think about once we gain a certain amount of knowledge or expertise or we have something that we're willing to share with someone that we think is better than, right? We're giving them, and when you're training someone, right, you think of that as feedback. You can watch someone do a deadlift and give them feedback on how they're doing their deadlift, mm -hmm. right? I could watch someone go grocery shopping and I could give them feedback on what they're buying. I could watch someone parent their children and I could give them feedback on their parenting. You can give feedback on anything. Once you feel you've got a level of expertise or knowledge about something that can help someone, what we have to be able to do is kind of put that on the back burner. Your knowledge is great, but we're gonna look at that feedback and I want you to think of it as a gift, okay? And I wanna ask you to literally think of a gift for a moment, okay? I want you to think of a gift. Close your eyes for a second. Think of a, a box of things. And then she listens to the tips and advice that I give her. If I take that same approach with Damien, I'm probably not going to get the same results. I know when I'm training Damien, I got to go, look, bro, what's up? I know you can do more than that, so why are you quitting on me? I ain't even taking that. Let's go. I'm still trying to get good results out of both people, but I have to package it differently if I really want to get the best out of you. If I choose to take my approach with every single person the same way, I'm only going to be effective with but if I can step back and figure out what makes you tick, take my message and go, I got it. I know what he needs today. And now give it to you in the way that you want to receive it. Now I'm more effective with more people. So am I saying you're wrong by saying you got to be tough on people, you got to be hard? Absolutely not. But can we take that concept of get on her, go to her house two times a day to make sure she's taking the pills? She doesn't have to have all the side effects of not sleeping at night, going to the bathroom every three minutes, or not going to the bathroom because she's constipated, right? All of these other things happen in terms of, I didn't just affect this person's life, I'm affecting many people's lives. So figure out who you want to help and how you're going to get in front of them and fix that. You don't have to help everyone, but who's your target and why? And specialize in them. Make them your number one focus. 
and always learn. If you decide to get into this business, one thing I can tell you, there is never, ever, ever going to be a single hour of a single day that you can turn your brain off from learning and be willing to unlearn what you learned yesterday. Because what you learned yesterday may be wrong tomorrow. And be okay with that. Right? You have to be a student of this all the time. All the time. And be willing to learn. Be confident. What is the deal? Welcome back to another commentary. As always, hope you guys are enjoying the vlog. Hope you guys are having a blessed one. Uh, so, the conversation I had with that personal trainer on the Drive for Fit, uh, I'm actually going to put the whole video on this whole second vlog here um, so you guys can listen to it. As for anybody that wants to be a personal trainer like myself, I just wanted to pick his brain and uh, see you know what his approach is and what I can do to uh, approach the uh, personal training game. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in a separate vlog so you guys to it. So on to the training session. Today we had legs that you see first. I did abs with uh, my homegirl and co-worker Andrea. She she wanted to do abs. So I said, fuck it, I'll do abs first before I got into legs. My ab workouts are simple, guys. I do three movements, and that is cable crossover, uh, cable crunches, the ab roller, and I do hanging leg leg raises. I didn't do hanging leg raises because time, I wanted to get to legs. I was very uh, anxious to get to legs. But those are my three primary moves, man. I mainly do um, ab rollout. Cable, cr cable crunches and hanging leg raises. That's all I do for abs. I build my core and I you know, build total ab strength at the same time. So, uh, anyways, let's get on to the leg session. So, on to the leg training session for, for this day. So, I started off with some leg extensions. Uh, now, normally I don't. I used to do leg extensions to warm up. Um, and I got away from it, but I think I'm bringing it back. Um, doing leg extensions, you know, got a heavy weight, you can activate the quads, warm up the knees before you jump off into the squats. Uh, before you jump off into any compound move that you do, for me, it's squats. Everything's about around squats for me because I did not squat when I was 19 and lifting, so I have to pull up squats now. So, as you know, I warm up through the movement, 135, you know, I'm still warming up, trying to get my, my legs warm, activated, before I jump into the heavier sets, which I did not do today, guys, I'm not going to lie to you, uh, even Doremus called it weak, but I did see a post from the online coach, Ravi Kyoto, shout out to you, he did a 60 rep set, 5 set of 12, um, with 205 pounds and I want to do the same guys I don't have strong legs um, so I'm not a, a master squatter like um, all these other people are uh, so I do what I do man but you know I did 5 set of 12 I felt every bit of it in my legs and I want to show y'all some raw clips um, of me doing 12 reps so but anyway guys this is pretty good I felt it felt it felt it you know it doesn't matter the weight as long as you feel it and you feel it in your legs I think everything will be okay so here's some raw clips for you guys here you go
And so, guys, um, as you guys know, when I first started squatting, my form was terrible. Um, I could even probably pull up a squat video on the side right here to show y'all uh, how much my form has improved over the years, man. You know, you can hear I'm going, you know, as the grass now. And um, it's a tribute, you know, practice makes perfect, man. You got to keep going, guys. Um, you got to keep doing it. Keep perfecting it. That's how you grow. That's how you get form. Uh, my legs have grown tremendously now. Uh, over the years, you know, I always thought my legs would be the last thing that were to grow, but I'm seeing development in my legs, which I love. Uh, fellas, ladies don't want a man with a big old body and stubby ass legs, man. So, uh, you gotta work it, man. And ladies, nobody, no man, a man wants a guy with some thighs, man, uh, with some hams, you know, some sexy hams, sexy thighs. No, we guys dig that shit. You gotta work legs, man. So here I just did a little accessory move with some leg press. Uh, I did two close and two or far to work the outer and inner part of the quad. As you see, this was mainly a quad oriented workout. Um, now I am gonna have one while I do a ham. Probably next week, probably Monday. I'll probably do a ham workout, a, ham, a hamstring oriented workout. But um, this is primarily quads today. Did you see I did some sissy squats. Sissy squats on the Smith machine. Uh, I recommend anybody trying those, man. If you want to get those quads, I believe this is another reason why my quads are starting to do a little pop. Um, it's doing these little sissy squats on the Smith machine. Uh, stay on your heels as you do them as well. I can show it, but you know it. Then I superset that with some goblet squats as well. Like I said, really good for quad activation. And then the last thing I did was calves. I do work calves, not all the time, but I do work my calves. Uh, I need to start working that back more often. So that was the training session, guys. Hope you like it. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. I'm going to be talking about the conversation I had with the personal trainer. So hope you guys like it. Turn off the lights. All right, Fit Fam. So, uh, Turn it is on Sunday the lights. next day. And I wanted to go somewhere and shoot this for you guys, but man, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I am very tired. Um, and you know, I take my Sundays at rest, and I'm gonna do that. So I'm just gonna talk here. It's not gonna be too long. I really wanted to discuss the um, the conversation me and the guy had, and for some reason I can't think of his name. It'll probably come to me soon but um anyways uh he is a personal trainer and has been for a um has been for some years now and he has a company called triumphant fit um he was talking to one of our club members and his approach uh was really attracting me it was kind of the approach i wanted to go and that's that uh you know that no BS approach, don't want to hear excuses, and if you hear excuses, you, you know, you got to counteract that with something, it, make, it makes you think, it makes you think about your goals and what, if you really want it or not, um, but that's not what I want to talk about, what I want to talk about is, you know, networking, um, you know, what it takes to, to be successful at something, um, you know, I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this already, but, you know, networking is very, very important. And it's important for a couple of reasons. For one, um, if you do network and you find somebody that is, you know, you surround yourself with people that are like-minded, who are doing the things that you do, and you surround yourself with people who are doing it better than you guys, um... Well, better than, you know, than you. I'm sorry. Uh, I believe that in this generation, um, we we read a book, we get certifications, and we get degrees, 
and we think we know it all, and that's not the case, man. Um, there is always somebody that's going to be better than you at something, and when you come across those people, man, you, you just need to take notes. Don't say nothing. Oh, no, I'm sorry, double negative. Don't say a thing. Shut up, sit down, and listen, because that person, that guy or girl could drop knowledge that you are trying to seek, knowledge that could help you, um, knowledge that could um, progress you in your own goals. Um, quite often, we get people who, you know, they think they know it all, and they don't, man. They really, really don't know a thing. Or they may know some knowledge, but they don't know everything. There's always somebody out there that's going to know more than you. Somebody's going to know less than you. Somebody's going to know something that you don't even know, that you might not even realize. You take information and you dissect it and you manifest it into your own. Do your research. Um, that's what I'm doing here, man. I'm reaching out to various personal trainers that have been doing this for a long time. And seeking knowledge from them, getting ideas, grasping it, being like a sponge, and you know, manifesting to my own little thing. That's what we were talking about. You know, it was a nice little tip. It was actually like an hour conversation, to be honest with you. But you know, I'm gonna put a video out and show just 10 minutes of it. And um, we're just talking about those keys, man. You have to be able to grasp your audience. Your audience can't talk. Um, you need to know from day one who you are dealing with. Dissect it, see the mentality, see the body language, and you know these are just keys to. He told me on personal about personal training. You can't go to anything, whether it's personal training, anything in one direction. If you go your one direction, you're gonna fall. It's a whole complex world out there, and you have to be able to. Find complexity in yourself in this complex world. There's different ways. Everybody's different. So you have to be able to adapt. And what may be good today may not be good tomorrow. This this world, the society is evolving every single day. It's like technology. Technology involves every day. What could be good for technology today? It could be an advance tomorrow. And that what we're going on today is just obsolete. So... Uh, just a short little rant I wanted to share with you guys. I'm going to close it out because the video is getting long. Just want to share my thoughts and my feelings about, you know, what me and him talked about. And my, you know, just, you got to adapt. Adapt, adapt, adapt. That's key to survival. That's key to being successful. It's adapting and overcoming those trials and overcoming those fails that will come. So, I'm about to sign out of here. I will see you guys in the next vlog. I'm out.